Um, Zero FXB, welcome back to my tiny SA videos. It's been a while since I connected mine to my PC. I've got a couple here. I've got the smaller version and the ultra version, which allows you to do all your Wi Fi testing and even has a, a, a little speaker out on it so you can hear what's going on. But anyway, um, I thought I'd just download the software. So you go to this site here, take tinysa.org, scroll down, click PC control, and then you'll get this window just here. Let's move this, make this a bit smaller. Then go down, scroll down until you see this one here where it says ex ex I can't even say it, ex executable. Click, click that and then you've got one here which is called the Tiny SA App Exe. So go like so and you can keep it in your downloads. Download and verified. Then click again. Let's run it. Oh, that was quick. Now we plugged it in. Luckily, it does come with a cable, which I'm quite pleased about. Um, and they're really, if you get the small one I've got there in the background, they um, are only £40 and, and it's the latest version. So anyway, um, let's find the cable. So we're going to go right click device manager, right click on Windows. Device manager, get our COM port number. Uh, and it's found it as ST Micro Electronics Virtual Com 29. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, tw and, and I have done this uh, over a year. Um, and let's hit the the connect button. So it says disconnected up here. We're going to go connect. And you can disconnect there. Not seeing anything yet. But um, let's go on and off. And we, we don't see anything, but we are connected. So now we will hit scan. And now we do see everything. Nice. Make this bigger. Yeah, we can. Make everything bigger. Get this out of the way. We can save the image if we want. We can save CSV as well. Put that in my uh, downloads. It names it save. Save CSV. Save. I mean, there's so much you can do. Capture the screen. And there's the arch. Now we're capturing the actual screen. Can I resize to see if I can resize it? I'm sure you can. Auto refresh. Yes. So it's auto refreshing. So it's live now. Let's grab one of my radios and just key on 145. See if you see it spike up. Uh, so 145000. Yeah, there it is there. Come on, how can you not like this? Save, copy, auto, refresh. That's basically a live view. Ah, so if we right click, we've got all the menu. Let's get to see if it will let us do the, the waterfall. Go display and then hit waterfall. I like that. So the only other thing I want to do is really get a bigger screen. And I've seen other videos. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, screen capture. That's to close it. And so if we tap the screen, let's look at some other menus. Back, you've got frequencies that you can set, start and stop and center. Back, a whole raft of marker settings. If you want to choose harmonics, go to measure. Click harmonics. Now there's a process to that. We're effectively controlling our device. So if we just put in 100 megahertz for now and then i'll it's it's notice that it's closed down the waterfall and then i'm going to key up and it's starting to show the first fundamental the second fundamental which should be i've been told minus 16 db below the first 
the minus 23 and then it's saying minus 10 so i don't know if that's i don't think that's very good that one <laughs> all right let's just click again frequency level oh yeah we need to attenuate it when we i haven't fitted one now but you can get yourself a little um attenuator 40 db attenuator and then when it's connected to the bottom connector just here you go whoop. when it's connected to this one or as you can actually if you look at my other one which is the ultra model um you'll see that um that's when you really connect the cable and you're doing a proper job there so there is learning to this but there's there's learning to everything if you want to know how to use it, your radio you've got to learn i'm learning all the time this isn't a teaching video this is me learning and if you draw something from it, if it inspires you to think, oh, I wouldn't mind having that. I wouldn't mind doing what Andreas is doing, which is pretty much a big motivation to why I do the videos is because I get quite excited by it. And I feel like many of my viewers do as well. And then, you know, that device was, well, I've got the link on the left here, £39. And they do offers. And then you've got this device that you can use forever forever and look how nice it looks um i i did actually think i'm just unplugging it now a minute i did actually think um that this one all also had this the little ear ear piece out but it hasn't uh i don't mind because i haven't really used it that much anyway uh where the other one if i grab the other one there's a little it holds an sd card so that gives you that ability where you can do stuff with the sd card and it also has a little 3.5 jack out so if you pay extra you get all that but my advice is get the small one tinker with it if you really like it get the big one as well why not you know just enjoy yourself if you're thinking about the money every time you do anything to do with your hobby it's going to really take away your enjoyment because all of us naturally want to be sensible with money all of us yeah you know because we go shopping we got to buy clothes for our family and our kids got to pay the bills pay the mortgage blah, blah, blah. so we're always thinking i need to be sensible with money which is true and you do but when it comes to buying items that are 20 30 40 pound for your ham radio hobby you don't need to be you don't need to be because buy less coca-cola because that'll that's very bad for you buy less fatty foods buy less not zero but just less crap less sugary biscuits and if you're gradually over your whole life just putting on loads of weight over 30 40 years stop live longer play more radio seven three